I am a hot steaming pile of trash right now. Good afternoon. I haven't washed my face since yesterday. Since when I left LA. Because I landed, I ate breakfast, and I slept. And I've been in a slumber, just straight up like... Since then, I've been sleeping. Here's the thing. I'm not complaining, just observing. It's so gloomy here, and I'm cold. I've also turned into a bull, <laughs> so all these things are happening, but it's like four right now, so the day's half done. But we got an exciting day planned. Here is the mission for today. First and foremost, my room is pretty clean because my mom held it down, but I'm gonna make it even more, not clean, but I'm gonna adjust it to myself. More about that. Then I'm going to go to OVO Fest, then go through my emails. Essentially, that's all for today because today is actually a rest day. My Fahrenheit 451 stuff actually starts tomorrow. Tomorrow I have wardrobe and I have hair and I have a few days of pre-production where like we gotta see how Raven's gonna look. So the actual bulk of the work doesn't start until tomorrow. Tomorrow and, and actually a few days after tomorrow when I actually start shooting. So today is OVO. See my boy Drizzy. OVO, if you don't know, is a weekend in Toronto where Drake puts on October's very own, is what it's called. Festival and like it's super dope. It's also Carabana. I missed that because I was in LA still, but it's gonna be dope. Sadness because I know she's not here. She's in Sri Lanka, so obviously she would be the person I would take. <clears throat> I'm figuring out who to take right now. But yo, let's try to make this room a thing. So when I say clean i mean like you know in my room in my office in la it's like adjusted to my way of doing work so like i have limited things on the desk and only things i need are on the desk and i have my stickies in a row and i can get a lot of work done i need to turn this room into a place where i can get a lot of work done because i'm here for two and a half weeks and my business cannot suffer for two and a half weeks so we're gonna turn this place into essentially unicorn island let's do it just released my new video, just did Super 60, where I responded to all y'all beautiful people. I'm not gonna lie, I did nothing to my room, even though in the first clip I was like, yo, your booty, yo. I did nothing. I'm experiencing what I like to call first day in Toronto and lack of sunshine. So gloomy. And the time difference is only three hours, but for some reason it kills me every single time. I'm just like, I'm tired. I'm tired. But I need to take a shower and get ready to go to OVO. I'm going with Chase. None of the Nina cousins are also gonna be there, so it's gonna be cool. Do I have time for like a 15 minute nap though? This is mostly for Kyle and my team. All dressed chips. America just got these, but they're not this. So a lot of people know what this is. This is I don't know if it's just in Canada. Comment below wherever you live. Do you have all dressed chips? I can't explain what they taste like. I was like, what does it taste? It just, they're just so good. So if you don't have all dressed chips, when you come to Canada, it's not just ketchup chips that we have. It's also all dressed chips. It's not an ad. This is just me improving your life. Let's do some makeup. Not to jinx it, but my skin is very good right now. Like, it's clear, it's glowy. Of course I'm wearing makeup, but I'm saying even with makeup, I usually have pimples and stuff like that. I'm in a good skin space right now. Bless. I like to thank Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, Krishna, Hanuman, Sai Baba. I want to thank Guru Nanak Dev Ji. You know, I want to thank Buddha. I want to thank Santa. I want to thank everybody. The skin, God, Neutrogena, Glam Glow. You know, the H2O that's been hydrating my blood. So I just want to thank everyone. My mom, my dad, all the girls I met in the clubs of washrooms that I became friends with. Every person that took a picture for me and my friends when a selfie would not suffice. I want to thank y'all. All the postmates that come to my door and don't make me come outside i want to thank all y'all for my clear skin right now get you a mom <laughs> that you can take shots of vodka with like i just did my mom's a g my whole team loves my mom I, chase is here hey, is my mom not a g yes yeah, she's a g my mom's a g straight up i love you mommy i love you too. i have been waiting here for two and a half weeks first i was sad because i was like i'm not gonna be able to get any work done here but i feel confident now that i can yeah all you need is love affection and a good food <laughs> And that's it. That's a plug. See? That's a plug. That's a plug. That's a plug. <laughs> we need to go. We're getting late. Yeah, we're getting we need to go to OBO. Okay, I need to hug my boy Jizzy. Sometimes it's problematic. So, I'm, I'm drunk. Okay. <laughs> I'm the, pretty drunk It's right the four now. shots we have. Yeah, we had four or five shots. Yeah. That, that, that might have been, if I calculated my brain. Same. Oops. Yeah, that if I just use yeah. the square root of the problem, I think it's because I had five shots. I'm pretty square, drunk. It's, it's going to be lit. Square root of five equals, equals drunk. Mm -hmm. Finally in, and you know why? My boy Habibi, the man right here, <laughs> the man. I'd pee so bad. Obi, oh, let's do it.
Just got home, it's like 4 a.m. My makeup is super smudged, I think. But can I tell you about what just happened in my life? <clears throat> I go to OVO, Drake brings out Effin Nelly, The Weeknd, Migo, French Montana, Cardi B, just killing it with the guest cameos. His set on stage was the top of the CN Tower. Like he got it built as a set. It was so dope. Then afterwards, Habibi's my boy, Habibi's is a Habibi's thing. He took me backstage and then I went to go say what up to Drake and I was like, oh hey, yo, you killed the set. No, I did not vlog with Drake. I did not take pictures with Drake. Trying not to act brand new, okay? Trying to act like a professional person. Especially because like every time I see Drake, there's a hundred people harassing him. So I'm like, I'm not trying to. And you know what he said to me? He also actually DM'd me saying this. He said, yo, I didn't know you were coming because if I knew you were coming, I wanted you to introduce me on stage. This is a real goddamn thing. Drake says to me, I really wanted you to introduce me on stage. I didn't know you were coming. I'm like, you wanted me to introduce you on stage? What <laughs> The if and then we were talking about his set and stuff but I was just so blown away and honored that he would want me for OVO to introduce him on stage. I was like, that is some effing honor and a half. Oh my god. I was like, I'm like, next time, you know, I think I can pencil it into my schedule. But I was telling him, I'm like, yo, you're so successful and dope that even during your set, I was telling him, I'm like, even the toughest, roughest guys, like, they're hype. You know when guys, like, are just can't be happy sometimes for they're just, like, mad stush? Like, all these guys are snapped. I'm like, yo, you have the type of success that puts people's egos in check. Drake is so nice and he's so phenomenal. We went to the after party after, but it was like way too crowded and way too many people were smoking. It was way too much of a ting and I was like, okay, I need to leave, I need to leave, I can't do it. Really great show. He's really dope. I'm glad like I have a proper connection with him now. But let me read you the exact name because when I read it, I was like, don't effing kill me right now. I just don't understand. So I messaged him being like, hey, I'm coming to OVO, whatever, whatever. He said, I wanted you to introduce me. I didn't know you'd be there. That's exactly what I said, he said, but I just wanted to read it because I'm still hype. Okay, but I'm not brand new. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that honor deserves a couple bonus points. Give me them. Let's see how we did today. Toilet talk lady. Thanks for joining me on today in the sit. What up, Jersey reference? My camera is effed up and keeps doing this weird thing on the screen. If you didn't know, I released a new video today. It is a horror movie trailer parody about Target ads. Link will be in the description. Check it out because I really like it. I'm really debating to make it a series if you like it. So let me know. Tomorrow, we are doing a wardrobe and hair and makeup for Fahrenheit 451. So it's going to be exciting. Until then, first time I've been with my left hand. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. And do not get subscribed. Also, I just want to say something Drake said during his set was he's like, yo, I don't make any money off this event. I just do it because I want to put on for our city. So like this set, everything comes out of my pocket and I just do it for the city. And I'm just like, that's so inspirational. I hope one day I can get to the point where I'm like, yo, I just want to do something dope for my city. I hope I get to that stage one day. Mm.